So here we are. Yes, Mr. Glassy. And then um, this is what it looks like. Yes. Second Empire furniture, I observe. Well, well. I dare say one gets used to it in time. Some do, some don't. The play is called Reclos, uh, which is a legal term in French for uh, legal proceedings that happen uh, behind closed doors. Uh, it was written in uh, uh, the early 1940s by Jean-Paul Sartre and first performed in Nazi-occupied Paris. I'm Joseph Garcia, journalist and man of letters by profession. And, and as we're going to be in the same boat, so to speak, might I ask Mrs... It's not Mrs. I'm unmarried. Well, that's a start. The setting of the play is a, is a middle-class drawing room, which we are given to believe is uh, located in hell. All of the characters have been condemned to hell for one crime or another, and they're all waiting for something ghastly on the monsters or the devils to, uh, to appear. And they don't, because the only torture that they inflict is on one another, and that is simply by being by one another and driving each other crazy. The first person I interact with is, is the valet, who terrifies me, because you're never quite sure what, uh, what the valet is, um, whether he or she is actually a human or whether some kind of devil it's never made clear, so obviously there's, there's a bit of fear going on. We don't know much about my character except that uh, he or she works at this um, hotel, which is quite obviously the afterlife. No! Don't look up! I know what you're hiding behind those hands! I know you've no face left! What? But I don't know you. I'm not the torturer, madam! I never thought you were. Just thought someone was trying to play a rather nasty trick on me. Is anyone else coming? No, madam. No one else is coming. Oh. So it's to be just the three of us. Inez is kind of Achilles' heel in this, is Estelle, because as soon as Estelle walks in, that's it. Inez just adores Estelle, but Estelle isn't having any of it. Her behaviour is quite grotesque towards Inez, like she's really horrible, like there's a point where she spits in her face and like things like that and she rebukes all of her advances in like the most like rude way. And um, on the flip side, uh, Garcin, she uh, interacts with and like she, because he's the man there, the only man, she's like constantly pandering to him, like she needs to be kind of noticed. So it's an hour and a half, roughly, of a sort of French philosophical version of the Big Brother House. Look here, why are we together? You've given out quite enough hints, you may as well come out with it. But I know nothing, absolutely nothing about it. I'm as much in the dark as you are. But we've got to know! If only each of us had the guts to tell... Tell what? Estelle? Yes? What have you done? I mean, why have they sent you here? That's just it. I haven't a notion. Not the foggiest. In fact, I'm wondering if there hasn't been some sort of ghastly mistake. <coughs> Don't smile. Just think about it. Think about the number of people who, who become absentees every day. There must be thousands and thousands of them, and probably they're sort out by understrappers or you know what I mean, they're stupid employees who can't do their job properly. And anyway, they're bound to make mistakes sometimes. Do start smiling. The play runs from the 23rd to the 25th of November in uh, Liverpool Masonic Hall, which is at 22 Hope Street. Tickets available at www.ticketsource.co.uk slash Liverpool Network Theatre.